Hello, sixth graders. Welcome to Big Ideas Math, Section 7.5, Writing and Graphing Inequalities Activity. Pause while you write Section 7.5 Activity in your math notebook. Pause again while you write today's activity objective, Understand Inequalities, in your math notebook. Copy the following key terms, definitions, and examples exactly as they appear into your notebook. I know there's a lot of them today, but you need to be sure you copy all of them. Today we'll be starting on page 167 in your Record and Practice Journal. Activity 1, Understanding Inequality Statements. Read the statement, circle each number that makes the statement true, then answer the questions. So let's look at letter A. Your friend is more than three minutes late. So this is where those close reading skills really come in handy. So it says more than three. So three is not more than three. So we don't want to circle three. We just want to circle all the numbers that are more than three. So four, five, and six are more than three. So we'll circle those. And then it says, what do you notice about the numbers that you circled? Those numbers that we circled are all greater than 3, so we're going to write greater than 3. And then the next question is, is the number 3 included? And the answer is no. And why or why not? And the answer is 3 is not more than 3. So the next question is write four other numbers that make the statement true. So we're going to write four other numbers. So let's just write the next four numbers. 7, 8, 9 and 10. Letter B, the temperature is at most 2 degrees. At most 2 degrees. So it says, what do you notice about the numbers that are circled? Well, we haven't circled them yet, so let's go ahead and do that. So we circled 2 and all the numbers that are less than it. So what we notice about the numbers that are circled is that they are two or less. And can the temperature be exactly two degrees? And the answer is yes, because it is included in at most. Next, we're going to write four other numbers that make the statement true. So we can write some more negative numbers. Letter C. You need at least four pieces of paper for your math homework. So at least means we need four, five, six, or more. So what do you notice about the numbers you circled? They are all four or greater. Can you have exactly four pieces of paper? Yes. Because four is included in at least four. And then write four other numbers that make the statement true. So we'll write the next four numbers, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Your assignment for this lesson is to complete letter D of Activity 1 on page 168 of your Record and Practice Journal. Be prepared to share during our next class. 
Please remember, to earn credit for viewing this flipped lesson, you must complete your exit slip, come to our next class prepared with the journal pages or other work from the flipped lesson completed, and be prepared with any work that was assigned in the flipped lesson completed. Be prepared with any questions you have for the teacher and always have a good attitude. We'll see you next time in class.